Uh, firstly, for at least a further three-week period, we will retain vaccine certification for the venues and events currently covered by the scheme. Uh, that is late-night licensed premises with a designated area for dancing, unseated indoor events of 500 people or more, unseated outdoor events of 4,000 people or more, and any event with 10,000 people or more. Uh, given the current state of the pandemic, it is our judgment that it would not be appropriate at this stage to remove this protection against transmission. Secondly, however, we have decided that from the 6th of December, it will be possible to access venues or events covered by the scheme by showing either proof of, proof of vaccination as now or a recent negative lateral flow test result. When we first launched the scheme, one of its primary objectives was to help drive up vaccination rates. This is still important, obviously, but actual and projected uptake rates mean we judge it possible now to include testing. Doing so will also ensure that the scheme remains proportionate going forward and also help our wider efforts to stem transmission through greater use of LFD tests more generally. And finally, as I indicated last week, Cabinet also considered the possible extension of the scheme to a much wider range of premises, including indoor theatres, cinemas and other hospitality venues. Let me stress, this was a very, very finely balanced decision. However, I can confirm that at this stage, we have decided not to extend the scope of the scheme. We have taken account of the fact that, although our situation is precarious, Cases are currently stable and indeed slightly declining, and we have considered the inevitable impact vaccine certification has on the operation of businesses and concluded that at this stage, extension would not be proportionate.